Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In this video I will show you how I make these slides in PowerPoint of course, but before we go in please make sure you subscribe and like this video. So the first thing that we'll do is create the chemistry flask for the cover slide. So here I just inserted a circle and then I'm gonna insert a rectangle and I'm gonna select both of them, go to align, align to center and then I'm gonna insert a rounded rectangle and remember with the yellow dot here you can change the roundness of the corners and then you're gonna select the three shapes, go to align, align to center. With all of those shapes selected go to merge shapes and then click on union and now you'll have just one single shape. Now we're gonna insert a rectangle that's gonna take the whole area of the slide then you right click send to back and you select the first shape that you did go to merge shapes and click on combine and that's how we create a mask in PowerPoint. Then I just got rid of the line and I just changed the color and now we're gonna create the liquid that's gonna be inside the flask. So here I'll just insert a rectangle and again I'm gonna select no line and I'm just gonna change the color to this red and I want to create some sort of bubbles so I'm just gonna insert um, these circles here. Remember that you can duplicate the shape if you hold control and drag the shape and then you'll select all of those shapes and go to merge shapes and click on union. Then right click and send to back. And then we're gonna start adding our text. So for this one I, this, I will set up this as like the first section so I just wrote the number 01 and then I just made it large and the font that I'm using it's called Acumen Pro Extra Condensed. And then we can put the title for that section which in this case will be Research. And in this case the font that I'm using is called Varent Grotesque. And I'm just gonna pick a very contrasting color so this will be this bright yellow. Now to create the dark lines that kind of represent a stand I'm gonna insert a rounded rectangle and then I'm gonna right click and click on edit points and then for this one right here right click and click on open path and then you can start deleting the points that you don't want. So in this case um, we're gonna leave it like this so without the bottom ones and so if you change the field to no field and if you add a stroke you'll see exactly the path that you just created. So now I'm just gonna increase the width of the stroke and once you're happy with it you can just uh, duplicate it again holding control and dragging that element and then I just rotate it to create this, this uh, different path and for this one I'm gonna get rid of the points on the left and then again I'm just gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna flip this one so I'll go to rotate and flip vertical and then I'm just gonna rotate it because I want the line to go all the way to the bottom of the slide to create a very smooth transition with the next one. So for this one I'm just gonna insert a line and you can copy the formatting uh, from the previous paths with the format painter so that's exactly what happened here and now I'm just gonna group everything with Control G and then to fix this section right here again I'm gonna right click ed on edit points and I'm just gonna drag the bottom point to the border of the flask and then I'm just gonna create these pink lines to represent the measurements of the flask and to align them you just have to select all of them, go to align and click on distribute vertically and now everything has the same spacing which is really nice for people with OCD for example. But now we're gonna select the liquid, we're gonna go to animations and click on fly in and from the animation pane you can go to effect options and change the duration and change the smooth end as well. So now we have this effect of liquid going up. Now we're gonna go to our second slide and for this one I'm gonna create some test tubes. So I'm just gonna insert a rounded rectangle and again with the yellow dot you can change the roundness of the corners and I'm just gonna make it a little bit skinnier. 
and then create another rounded rectangle again change the roundness and then select everything go to merge shapes click on fragment and then you can delete the top part and for the rest of them we're gonna click on merge shapes again and we're gonna click on union so now we have the shape that we can duplicate to create the others so again you just hold control on your keyboard and drag the item and then you'll need to align them so click on all of them go to align and distribute horizontally and then go to merge shapes and click on union so now we have one shape with the three tubes now we're going to repeat the same process as the previous slide so you'll need to create a rectangle that's going to take the whole area of your slide and then with both shapes selected go to merge shapes and click on combine and then you can get rid of the line and you can change the color to align to the background from the first slide and now i'm just going to create the liquid so for this one i'm just going to pick different colors for each of them and then just right click on the shapes and send to back now for the black stroke i'm just gonna um, copy the same one from the previous slide and i'm gonna paste it into the second slide with ctrl v and now i'm just gonna bring it up so we have a very nice transition um, with the first slide and now we can just copy the pieces that we used on the first one to create a completely different one on the second one you can flip it you can rotate it but it is essentially the same principle as the previous one you can design your own stand and then you just have to copy the same lines that we use for the measurements and i'm just gonna paste it on every single tube here and then we can just add our text so in this case i just picked a different color for each number to match the color of the liquid from the test tubes and i'll just add a circle here as a detail um, to make the the slide a little bit more interesting and to add a little bit more contrast and to copy the animation you just go back to the liquid from the first slide go to animations click double click the animation painter and just apply to the rest of your liquids from the second slide and then right click on the elements from the animation pane and just make sure that everything starts with previous so for the third slide i'm gonna start with a blue background and i'm just gonna add the text that i want so here it will be like a little description about what science is and then with the circle tool i'm just going to create this ellipse and i'm going to copy the formatting from the stroke um, on the first slide so you go to home click on the paintbrush from the format painting and apply to your ellipse and then let's make sure it's aligned to the center of the slide so you go to align align to center align to middle and then you can rotate it a little bit now we're gonna create two copies of this shape make sure everything's aligned to center aligned to middle and again repeat the process and align to center align to middle uh, it's very important to have the center of each shape in the exact same place so now we're just gonna add some details here so maybe some particles floating around and now we're going to start creating groups for our shapes so you select like this particle that you want with its respective orbit and you just click ctrl g to group and then just repeat the process with your second ellipse and your third ellipse as well so now we have three different groups and now we'll move on to the animation so just select your groups go to animation click on spin and now it will look very wild and messy but we're gonna fix that so you'll have to go to the animation pane and right click on all of them and start with previous and then go to effect options click on effect and here we're gonna change the degree so let's put 15 and let's smooth the end a little bit so now it's looking so much better and then you just have to select one of them and rotate it uh, counterclockwise so you can do that from this panel so now our animation 
is looking way better. Now let's add a transition. So in this case, I will pick push and I'm gonna select the direction to go from left. And for the second slide, I'm gonna pick the same transition, push, and this one I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And then for the final details, I just created these um, spark or like star and I just changed the color and I'm literally just copy pasting it into every single slide. And there you go guys, that's how I created this PowerPoint presentation. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And remember, you can download this presentation and others as well for free on creatorsbooth.com. Please remember to subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I will see you the next time.